Are you short or have little kids and thinking about getting a Bronco? Well, this video is for you. Welcome to the Never Ending Weekend. Subscriber Ukulele Sherry reached out to me wondering if my rock slide engineering step sliders would work for her. I'm gonna lay out all the measurements and answer that question, but first, if you're short like me and you're thinking about getting a Bronco but worried about the step in height, let's go through all your options. And like the Wrangler, the Bronco has a very big aftermarket community, so there are gonna be a ton of ways that you can approach this problem. There's so many choices from so many different companies for steps, retractable steps, running boards. Ford even has a bunch of OEM solutions you can buy. As a matter of fact, the Outer Banks trim comes with running boards. There's a few companies that have retractable running boards like Rough Country and AMP. There's also a lot of steps out there that you can add after on for those who are extra height challenged. But if your use case includes going off-road and you want the protection and the durability of a true rock slider, things are a little bit different. You'll still have a lot of options out there, but Rock sliders are made to be close to the body to protect it and you don't want things extruding like steps that hang low that'll get caught up on rocks. There are some solutions out there with removable steps like the factory ones on the Bronco Raptor and I guess the question there is do you like the way they look and also you need to at least turn a wrench or two to take those steps off every time you want to go off-roading. That's where the rock slide engineering step sliders come in. They serve a very specific purpose for taking a beating off-road. You can see down here that I've already dented these pretty badly. They're made out of 10 gauge steel, which is almost 3 16 inches. And the steps are great. I've never had a problem with them at all. But that's not to say they're perfect. There are some issues that I have with them. One thing is the finish. I can understand how on the bottom it gets rusty because it gets hit and knocked around and bent. But on the top, maybe because it's flat and maybe the water is pooling on it after it rains, but there are spots of rust that are appearing and I've only had it for a year. So I'm just surprised that this kind of wear and tear is already happening. Another thing are these door sensors. This is what tells the rock sliders to retract or deploy the steps when the door is open or closed. The kit came with some VHB, very high bond, double-sided adhesive. But even so, they were finicky to place, but also they've moved since then. So they're kind of loose. I got to redo them, but if you buy these and you're installing them, just be extra careful on how you adhere these. So the one last thing is this optional extra called the door delete kit that Rockslide Engineering sells as an option. I guess the use case here is if you want to drive around with your doors removed, this sensor is going to think that your doors open and deploy the step. But with this button, it'll retract it permanently whether the doors open or closed so they can drive around with, with no doors. The thing is, the kit comes with this power button. It's a power button to the whole system. So if you turn it off, it cuts the power. It's an extra step because you have to close the door, make sure the step is retracted, turn off the power, and then you can open the door and, and the step won't come out. But it seems like not that big of a deal as opposed to buying this option, but something to think about if you're gonna buy it. One other thing to mention, and this is not necessarily a positive or a negative, it's just something to keep in mind if you're gonna buy these. Rock Slide Engineering sells this optional skid plate for this, which is essentially an extra 3 16th inch steel cap that fits right over this for extra protection. Leaves an opening for the door to come out. You have to be hitting the trails really hard and all the time to warrant um, that extra protection, but it's out there if you want it. So now let's get into the actual measurements. Uh, what I have here specifically is a Badlands trim Bronco in the Area 51 color with the Sasquatch package. And what the Sasquatch package adds is 1.5 inches of lift and 35 inch tires. Just as a quick note, if you're watching this and you have a Bronco, maybe a base with the 30 inch tires or 32 inch tires, take a measurement to the bottom of your doors and put it in the comments just for reference for everybody else. I don't have a base Bronco available to me, but doing some general calculations, the base comes with 30 inch tires. So these are 35. So you take half of that two and a half inches, and then you take away the one and a half inches of lift. So the difference is four inches altogether. So from the floor to the bottom of the door is 22 inches. So if you have a base with 30 inch tires, the bottom of your door would probably be around 18 inches. Now the top of the rock slide engineering step slider is about the same. 20 and a half inches. If you have any kind of rock slider, it'll be about there. 
The OEM rock sliders that come from Ford don't really stick out much. It's more of a toe hold than a foot hold. But whatever rock sliders you have, it'll be about this height. And then the step here is about 11 and a quarter inches from the ground. So it splits that distance about exactly half. So nine and three quarter inches from the step to the top of the rock slider. And just for a reference point, I'm five foot six. For this demonstration, it might have been better if I was a little bit shorter, but five foot six is good for me. That's short enough. <laughs> and it works fine for me. I could go up here, no problem. I could even step into the door. It, it's a bit of a hop and a shimmy into the seat, but it couldn't be done. If you had just a step here where the rock slider is underneath the door opening, that makes it a lot, actually quite a bit easier. But adding this step makes it child's play. Anyone can get up here. I've had my parents who are elderly got up here, but only because of the step. Otherwise they wouldn't be able to get in. And these steps are strong for any horse play from kids or it, they're very sturdy. Even though I've whacked the bottom of the rock sliders hard enough to dent them, steps have never given me a problem. So to answer the question, is it worth it? If you're short or have short passengers and you do a lot of off-roading and you have the budget for them, definitely get them. They'll make ownership much more enjoyable. Plus they make a really good impromptu seat, maybe for some camping or tailgating. But if you don't go off-road a lot, and you're on a tight budget, there are more affordable options that may not be as rugged. And really, depending on how short you are, you might not need them at all. That extra hopping is good for your health anyway. Thanks to Ukulele Sherry for asking that question. And to anyone else out there who has any questions, put them in the comments about any of the stuff I've been YouTubing. I'd be glad to answer your questions and perhaps even make a video about it. If you like this kind of content or you just want to help me get to a thousand subscribers, subscribe, like the video, it helps the algorithm. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend everyone. Mm -hmm.